so there's some because I'm shooting on the iPhone there's some limitations to that like with the shaking and stuff like that so I know that when I'm walking around things shake a little bit so I have a piece of equipment that I bought that I was told about that I think might help with that right, so I've got some attachments this thing the Osmo Mobile, and it is like, I don't really know a lot of the technical terms on how to describe this thing. So it like self balances if, if I'm walking around holding it. And it also does like some motion tracking stuff. So I could set it up and I could walk around and it would follow me. Parts and components, my favorite thing. Oh, look at this. Don't eat that. What's in the parts and components box? I know that's what you're all waiting for, but what's in parts and components? Oh, it's a stand. So I can stand it up. There you go. I'm gonna do some tests and stuff with this so you can see what the footage looks like. Um, I'm really excited about it. This is, this is like some serious gear here and I'm trying to make these videos as good as I can, so. Osmo Mamba. <laughs> leaving me today. Where are you going? I'm going to my hometown in Botoshang. Where is that? Northeast Romania. Northeast Romania. If we didn't need like northeast, you could have just said Romania. Oh, right. <laughs> it's like, oh, I thought it was in South Romania. <laughs> How long are you going for? Uh, maybe, I think until Friday, so that's about almost a week. Okay. How do you feel about it? very sad. Mm. I'm sorry. Some day you take it? Yep. <laughs> Have a good trip. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> So I just took Adina to the station, and now I'm in, back in London again, so I guess while I'm here, I might as well take some more footage, some of my favorite stuff. Oh look, St. Paul's Cathedral, just poking up over there. tell you a funny story about this bridge so this bridge is called the Millennium Bridge and when they opened it I think it was in like the year 2000 or something like that see how there's like these suspension ropes or these cables like they weren't tight enough or something I'll find out the actual details I'll put some links somewhere and the whole thing was like wobbling when they opened it so they had to close it down and restructure it again because the whole thing like people were walking on it and it was just bouncing and bouncing it was hilarious so I've spent a couple of days with this Osmo Mobile thing and I have to say I'm really impressed with it. As you've probably seen from some of the footage, it's looking a lot better. I'm able to get some pretty good looking stuff. I love the time lapses and things that I can do with it, especially like the motion ones. This thing is amazing. I am still learning how to use this, so there's going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. And because of that, I also don't really fully understand what I'm doing. But I did watch a really great review about this, which I'll put a link to here so you can go and watch it. The one thing that I don't like is that it's completely black like this. When I'm walking around, I feel a little bit self-conscious of it because, I don't know, it's got like a kind of weapony look to it. Like, this is so... Utilitarian? I can't think of the right word, but like it's kind of brutal looking. 
So I'm probably gonna like, I don't know, put some tape on it or some stickers on it or something to try and brighten it up a little bit so it looks a little less threatening when I'm out and about. But I gotta say, huge thumbs up. I love what this is doing for the vlog. So talking about the vlog, let me do a little bit of vlog talk for you. Kind of go through some stuff that I'm doing. First off, like a massive thank you to everyone who watched the previous videos and who subscribed. Like absolutely blown away with the response so far. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for that. The audio stuff, you're so right. Like the earlier videos, the audio wasn't great. I'm getting better at that. It's kind of hilarious because audio is what I do for a living. And I was, some of the audio levels were strange, but I'm working on that. The software is very different. I'm getting used to it, but I think I'm getting better. And I've got some stuff in mind to try and make it better and better as it goes along. Um, also, this is a vlog. Like a lot of this stuff is vlog style. Me talking to you, showing you what I'm doing in my life, but it's not gonna be daily. These vlog episodes, these videos, they're going to be frequent, but unscheduled. So I'm trying to like think maybe to get something once a week or so, there might be more, there might be less, but I'm working on that. And I have some ideas for some standalone episodes in the future. I really wanna get your feedback as well. So whatever you wanna see, whatever you want me to be talking about, whatever you wanna know, let me know in the comments so I can go through and make some ideas for some future videos as time goes on. In a previous video, a bunch of people noticed that I was stirring some coffee with this end of a spoon. Not this end, but this end. Make sure you mix that all up. And I feel like I have to address it because a lot of people thought that I was super weird. There is a reason, and I'm gonna show you. All right, so this was the glass, and I had iced coffee in this glass, right? And I stirred it like this. Now there's a good reason for it. Now if you see, this glass, it like it tapers, and you put the spoon in the bottom of it, and it's like, listen to this. That is horrible, it's like, ah, scratching against the edges. So I used this end, because you can, you can, look, see, it's much better. Too big. It made perfect sense. I obviously know how to use spoons, I've used spoons forever, look, I know that they like, I'm so down with spoons, I've been using spoons for a long time. Maybe I need a stirrer or something, but. This superior to stir in those glasses. Let's put this to rest.